Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about air filters. I'm going to tell you why I recommend the uni filter over any other filter in the world, basically. And we're going to show you how to properly clean it. This one's due. It's got 300 miles on it straight out of my uh, sea force. And you guys see how I ride this thing. That's actually not too bad for that many amount of miles. We're going to go over how to properly clean and re-oil these. I'll show you guys how to use the Fab One uh, oil and cleaner that we sell on our website. We also sell the uni filters on our website, rngperformance.net. So we have air filters for all of your CF motos, including the 2022-2023 uh, U-forces that nobody else seems to have filters for that fit. I do have filters that actually fit. You won't have to force them. They'll just fit and they'll work, I promise. So the reason why I personally pick Uni over anything else is because the name. It's just proven itself, durability, longevity. Over the years, this filter will essentially pretty much outlast your unit unless you thoroughly abuse it and not take care of it like you're supposed to. You should be cleaning this pretty much after every few rides or when it starts to kind of look nasty. So the reason I pick Uni is because longevity, the name, it's out there. Everybody knows it, everybody trusts it. It's never let anybody down. You see how filthy this one is? We're gonna show you inside in a second and show you no dirt has gotten through. And then we're gonna show you this one which is a stock filter, which has been annihilated. I took this one out oh, a few months ago out of a Seaforce 1000. And this one just been, it's not even as dirty as this one. And you can see all the dirt that's inside of it and the hole that's in it. And what usually causes these is, is if the filter gets wet. Now, I know a lot of guys are saying, if you're riding that deep, blah, 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 blah. You should have snorkels, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you probably should, but here's the thing. This filter could get wet just from sucking in rain while you're riding it. That's just the truth of it. If it's raining hard enough and you're riding it, moisture and water is going to get in there. And, and the paper, it's like a sponge. It's going to soak that moisture up, kind of like a paper towel. And it's going to become soft and brittle. And that's how these can get damaged. You don't have to be in a water hole you don't have to be going deep. You don't have to be dr drowning your machine in a lake to destroy a, an air filter. You could simply just be riding in heavy rain or really wet environments and the moisture alone is going to, it's going to suck it up. And that's just the way it is. I know people are like, well, we don't have that problem in our cars. Well, technically, if you're in the right situation, it can happen. But the way the cars are designed, everything is so enclosed, you're fine. I've never seen it on a car happen, but I have seen it on off-road vehicles happen multiple times, depending upon the airbox design and, and all that stuff. But it can happen. Might not happen to you, but it can happen. As for the Uni, these things will outlast your machine. Yeah, you pay a little bit more money for them, but they're the best filter on the market. Instead of like a, a different aftermarket foam filter, like a uni knockoff is what I call them. They're uni knockoffs. The reason why we don't choose those is because the bonding between the foam and the silicone or the rubber, however that one's made, is the most important. And when you add these chemicals to the filter, some of the glues and stuff that they use don't hold up to the chemicals and the cleaning and all that stuff and the filter will actually separate from the boot and that will be a failure point of a filter i've ran a couple of the cheaper ones on some of like the chinese bikes and stuff that we've had um and they they just don't last the uh, filter starts to disintegrate you ever had a riding lawnmower or a push mower that had a, a cheap old foam filter in it. You know how those disintegrate in just a couple of years? And that's that's your lawnmower only being ran once, twice a week throughout the summer. Um, you can probably oil them and they'll still, it's the oil that's eating the foam. If you don't get a good quality filter, you'll have those issues. I'm not here to bullshit you guys. You run what you want in your machine. At the end of the day, I know mine's safe because I know what I run. I definitely wouldn't run it if it doesn't say uni. And a lot of you are running K&N. 
k and is fine to run if you're not in a real dusty environment, if you're on the road. And here's the thing about the k and Yeah, they flow better, but they don't catch as small of particles as a oiled foam filter does. And they'll, they'll also clog up. Well, you might think this one's clogged up. I assure you it's not. It's still breathing properly because of the design of the filter and how the oil catches the dust and the dirt. And this filter will shed water. And I'm gonna show you that when we start to clean it. I'm gonna show you the difference between what happens to this one and this one whenever you introduce water to it. This one will shed the water like it's not even there. That one's gonna soak it up like you dunked it in a pond. I just can't stress, spend your money wisely. These engines are not cheap. These engines are like $3,600, $3,700 plus shipping and taxes. A filter is a no brainer. This thing is gonna pay for itself through the years to come. This thing will still be here when you're done writing this and you sell it on Craigslist. This filter is gonna be here when you roll this thing down a cliff. Let's hope that you don't do that, but people do do it. This filter is gonna still be hanging in there when this machine is just old and tired and retired, I promise. So it's gonna save you money in the long run. And these filters aren't all that much money. The OEM filters are on the expensive side and they you have to throw them away. You can't clean them, you can't do anything. And then you, know, you get water on them or whatever, I just explained those scenarios. Anyhow, I think you guys get the drift. I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna stand here and BS you. If you want a uni, you know where to get them. If you don't want a uni, well, that's your choice and you have that right to have a choice, but just know Rednex motors are safe. Let's show you what happens when we introduce water because we are gonna clean this and show you guys how to clean it and oil it. But let's show you what happens when we introduce water. So let's introduce some water to this. It soaks it up like a sponge. It's on the inside, soaks it up like a sponge. We didn't even spray it on the inside and it's on the inside, watch. Pouring out and it just soaks it up like a sponge, guys. Now, if this sits here and soaks it up, this stuff is gonna be super brittle. And look, we'll just be able to just tear it easy, real easy. It's just going to soak it up. Just soaks it up like a freaking sponge. Now, to hold this the same way. Check this out. It's just shedding it. Not even any on the inside. Can you see that? Not even any on the inside. Look. Bone dry. Check it out. Bone dry. See? None on the inside, none. It sheds it because of the oil, which makes it kind of hard to clean, honestly. But that's a good thing. Now, don't get me wrong. Your motor will pull in that that water but that water is going to be able to flow there with that suction where this is basically going to stop it and it's going to pull holes now some of you might say well how's it going to pull holes with that cage inside well as you see what this one did here it pulled it around that cage if this had a metal mesh in there maybe it'd be all right i don't know but without further ado Let's pull this apart and clean it. We're gonna pull this off. Be easy, don't stretch it, just pull it. It'll come right off. Now look at the inner part of that. Still clean yet, but we're still gonna clean it. We're gonna douse this thing. Now we're gonna work it. Work it in, look at it, push that dirt out. We're gonna work it in like so. We're gonna take our hose.
Now we just bring it out like a towel. Just bring it out. Super easy, guys. And we're gonna do the same to this. We're gonna rub this in. Rub it in, it loosens up that oil and that dirt. Now this one, I like to hit it from the inside a little bit and push that dirt outward. It works, trust me. Now we can hit it from the outside. Now we're gonna let them dry and then we're gonna oil them and put them back on. All right guys, we let our filter sit out here for a few hours and dry. Now we're gonna take and coat it with um, the Fab One air filter oil. Now you do not want to get oil on this rubber. You don't want to do that because then it will slide off. Now we're going to take this. Slide it right on there like so. All right, once you got that slid back on there, we're going to coat it in oil. Once we got it coated in oil, we'll go ahead and put it back in the machine, guys. So there you go, guys. That's how you clean and maintain a Uni air filter. It's super easy, it's super cheap. It doesn't take all that long. Very good filter for the money. You cannot go wrong at all whatsoever. Cleaning them, you can get anywhere between 15 and 20 cleanings depending upon the size of the filter you ha you may or may not have you may have a smaller one or a bigger one um that's about what we average per can because i do clean them here for folks that that bring them here to me and that's about what i'm averaging depending upon the size so all right guys i want to thank you for tuning in stopping watching i'd like to invite you to hit that like share and subscribe button leave me a comment down below if this video has helped you We'd also like to invite you to our ride, uh, Tall Pines in New York. You can find that event on my website, rngperformance.net, under events. You can see it there. We'll be there at the end of this month. Peace out. God bless. We'll see you in the next one.